Okay, so I'm going to be installing future heat. This is the uncoupling mat with the uh, see the knobs. The wire goes in between these knobs. That's shown in uh, this diagram here, but you're going to see me do it anyway. So this is part seven of the steam shower series. In this video, I'm going to go through all the steps needed to install the heated floor. This is an electric heated floor uh, by Schluter. There's, there's three parts to it. There's the the uncoupling Dietra mat, which has the knobs or the the pucks, as some people call them, where you insert the wire uh, between them. So the Dietra mat, the wire, and the thermostat. The wires come in several lengths. Uh, there's a lot of different lengths because you can't modify the length of the wire. They can't be cut. They can't be modified. So you have to get the correct length for your floor. So, and the wires come in 120 or 240, depending on what kind of uh, dedicated circuit you can supply for the wire. And just don't want to emphasize that, it has to be a dedicated circuit for the heated floor. These heated floors in, usually are not a primary source of heat. They're usually just to make the floor comfortable. And uh, I've installed a ton of these. And most people that install these and have the nice warm floor never want to go back to a cold tile floor. So they're very, very popular and they make the floor very comfortable. So you got the wire, you got the mat, the wire, and the thermostat. The thermostat has, there are a few, few different options. You can get a regular thermostat, which is buttons, non, it doesn't have a touch screen and is non-programmable. Then you can get the programmable thermostat and then you can get the touchscreen programmable thermostat. So there's several different options available for that. Now as far as the video footage of this uh, video, I'm going to be going back and forth through uh, between a, two or three different floors that I did. I just wanted to compile them so that I could get the best possible uh, footage for the floor and the, the actual tile installation will not be shown in this video. I'll, at the end there will be just you know a few clips of the actual finished floor but I'm not going to go through the process of installing the actual tile. But what needs to be known about the Dietra heat is that it needs to be tested three times. Um, once when you take it out of the box and it's still in the spool, when it's installed into the uh, uncoupling mat and then once the tile is installed you install it three times and the tests are with the mega ohm meter and an op sorry the tests are with the multimeter which you have to do and the mega ohm meter which is optional and I'll show all the tests with the multimeter and with the mega ohm meter the wire and the and the sensors and each have to be installed uh, tested three times so there are you do the test with a multimeter and optionally with the mega ohm meter. If you do only the uh, multimeter test, you get uh, a number of years for the warranty. If you do it with the mega, also do the mega ohm meter test, you get additional years of warranty. You, so you can, you have to do it with a multimeter test, but you can also add uh, the uh, the mega ohm meter test to. Uh, Lengthen the the year years of the warranty for the for the floor. So I'm going to go through all the steps: uh, installing the mat, installing the, the wire, installing the sensors, and um, but I'm not going to do the uh, actual in, uh, installation of the thermostat and the wires connecting the wires to the thermostat and energizing the mat. Uh, in my area, and like in most areas, you need a licensed electrician to do that. You, need, you have to have a licensed electrician actually do the energizing and the connecting to the power. I'm going to give you all the steps that are required to install it. And um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will uh, answer as many as I can. I uh, can't get to them all sometimes, but I try and answer, I do try and answer all of them. In the description, I'll leave a link to all the videos 
that relate to the steam shower uh, master bathroom. So for example in, in part 3 there will be the links to parts 1 and 2 and then 4, 5, 6 and 7 when I add it. And I, there's probably going to be one more or a couple more videos in this series which will be the installation of the uh, bathroom floor and grouting and then that's probably going to be the, the last of the series. So when I'm done I'm going to uh, combine all the videos into one long uh, video possibly two because uh, the maximum length is two hours if you can get through two hours of a uh, video. Um, they seem to be popular so so I do them. They're there if you need if you want them. I uh, hope you um, enjoy the video and subscribe. Please subscribe and uh, as I said leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. Thanks a lot. So this is the wire which I'm going to open up in a minute and this is the new touchscreen programmable thermostat and the three together make up an electric heated floor. The Ditra, this Ditra mat still maintains the uncoupling and all the other things that the regular Ditra has except it incorporates a space for the wire in the mat so that you have a flat surface to tile over without having to um, point self levelers or make adjustments of any kind just snake the wire into the, the mat and uh, tile it. So this is it and this is what I'm going to be installing. Because I'm going over OSB here I'm going to install the mat with a polymer modified thin set and then I'm going to install the tile on the mat with an unmodified thin set. Okay, so you just use a utility knife to cut it. I'm going to cut the rest of this in. But um, you want these pucks to line up. That way the wire, these pucks here, that way the wire goes straight through and it doesn't have to jog. Okay, so I'm just going to roll back. I'm going to use back. quarter inch square notch shell. First I'm going to go with the flat side to key it in and then I'm going to flip it and use the notch side.
And then I'm gonna roll back and I smooth it in with an old wooden trowel. So I'll do the rest of it. So this is the wire. This one's uh, 240 volts. Covers uh, 85.3 square feet. And it comes with a sensor. And this is the thermostat. And that also comes with a sensor. So you get two sensors. And you install both of those, but you only connect one. And I'm going to save this, so I don't need this right now. And comes with the instruction booklet. And a place to record the testing, because you have to test this three times. You test it once when you put, get, take it out of the box, once when you lay it in the mat, and the third time when uh, the tiles installed so that way and you record all your findings all your everything on in the book and there's instructions on how to do that yeah, but I'm going to show you anyway for testing you need a multimeter and you need a mega ohm meter and I'm going to use both of these to test the wire make sure it's good Okay, so to make your life easier, get alligator clips. Because these here, it's going to make, it's, it's just harder to test. This way you just clip it onto the wire and um, you don't have to try and keep on poking it and hold it in place. So alligator clips is going to make your life a lot easier. Okay, so all the testing instructions are on this page here. Right, tells you what you need, and you can record your values here. Now, this number, this one here, the factory value, recorded that, and now I'm going to test. And you test before you install it, after you install the cable, and after the tile installation. And I'm going to do these tests now, and I'm going to record them right here. Okay, so the first test I'm going to do is a conductor resistance test. And this value should be the same as was on the thing here. Let's go. It's got this value right here and here. And on that, and there's one in the book there. And you go between the two leads. You set it to 200. So if you can see that, the light on. So set to 200, 53.9, and it has to be within 10%. of this value here. So that's within 10%, this is 54.9, this is 53.9, that's within 10%. So that test that. Next is the conductor and ground test. 
and I'm going to put it on the alarm symbol. And if I touch these two together, it beeps. It's going to beep. So I'm going to do it between one in the ground. I should get I or some of them will show overload right here and then see now these two touched so they went off so that's I and then I'll put it over the other one I should get the same reading so that's good now I'm gonna do the the sensors and uh, one was in the truck, so them, these actually aren't at the same temperature, but I kept them in my pocket. Hopefully they both warmed up. But anyway, so I'm going to test these. And these are sensitive to temperature. So depending on the temperature, on the ambient temperature, you're going to get a different value. So I'm going to test these and see what I get. So... about say about 65 in here 70 degrees maybe so put that connect that like that put this on 200k so that's 11.4 And this one here is 10.7. Like I said, one was outside, so. So now I'm gonna do the insulation resistance test and that's where you need the mega ohm meter. So you put it between one of the power cords And the ground wire. Set it to a thousand volts. You don't want to touch that because you get a shock. Test. Oh, test, sorry. So you want it to be over a thousand volts. So it went up to 1488. So that's good. Switch over to the other lead. Test again. Fifteen oh nine. So as long as it's over a thousand, it's good. I cut this little area out here so I can, because this is thicker, so I can go down into the, into the um, mat and not be clear about. That'll feed up into the um, into the wall cavity. The wire has to stay three inches away from a wall. There's no heat vents here because they're in the ceiling. So, but if there was one on the floor here, you'd stay eight inches away from it. And about eight inches away from the from the. Um, Okay, so I put some lines down just to remind me where to stay away from. All the way around. I'm going to put the wire in. Now you like to use just a plastic, anything that's not sharp to push the wire in.
Okay, so you put the wire three pucks apart. So anyway, you get the idea. Just gonna continue on like that. No runs more than 10 feet. No straight runs more than 10 feet. If you, if you need to go more than 10 feet, what you do is you create a little loop. Create a little loop like that if you have to go more than 10 feet to break it up. Okay, so the wire's all down. And I'm gonna test again. Okay, so I'm gonna test it the second time. Okay, so this one here just fits in between the new kind and the old kind. You have to kind of slot in. Okay, so after I've installed the tile, I'll test them again. So you need a multimeter and a mega ohm meter. Okay, so Schluter requires that the wires be tested three times. Once when it's still on the spool, and before you insert it into the mat. Uh, once when the wire has been inserted into the mat, and once after the tile has been installed. Schluter used to require that uh, the wire be tested both with the multimeter and the mega ohm meter. And now they only require the testing with the uh, multimeter, but if you do test it with the mega ohm meter, you get additional years of warranty uh, with that test. Another thing to note, here is that uh, a, a licensed electrician has to be one to actually do all the connections to the electricity and to the uh, thermostat. So, um, as you can see here, this is the last test. So, once the thermostat is being connected and everything is energized, the uh, Floor can be turned on to test it to make sure it comes up to temperature, uh, but it's only for a test. Before you actually put it into use, you need to let the thin set and all the setting materials cure for 10 days. And then once the 10 days has passed, you can put it into normal use. Okay, so that's it. The next video will be the actual setting of the tile floor.